You calling the cops and having to come back out and investigate? We got cop cars all over the place. Let's go! Let's go! Timber! It's gonna be an incredible day today. You know, you know why, right? Why? Christian, patience. Today is bonus day. Last week you got a two dollar bill a piece. That's an additional four dollars. Uh, this week you're getting your own personal portable automatic ice maker. Oh, Look at this. Look at this right here. Oh, it is a portable ice maker, user manual, the whole deal. Companies send us stuff all the time. And uh, you guys know when I go out to eat and I order a drink, what do I always order it with? No, no ice. No ice. No because ice. if they put ice she in it and I go double fist with no ice. <laughs> <laughs> One sip and it's all gone. And, and what do you guys always order? You guys like your extra We like ice. Ice. We, okay. we like the ice. We well, like the uh, ice. We'll definitely be going to a good home because we don't need it here. <laughs> and the reality is, is I'm going to work you two so hard today that I'm going to give you the blessing before the curse. <laughs> Look at that. I got the popo -po out at the road, man. Whew. Well... We'll figure out what they're here for in a couple minutes here, but uh, we've got two projects we got to get done before we actually go to Florida. And number one is we're pulling power from a main line. We're going to have a meter. This is an entire meter just for one thing. It'll be a meter just for this gate right here. Security. There'll be cameras. We can, uh, in the palm of our hand with the phone, we'll be able to push open, close, lock them in, lock them out. See anybody, everybody tries to come up our lane. That has to get done. And then we have a whole lot more to get done as well. We've got to get the bird aviary ready. And now you see why it's important that we have an actual security gate. This individual right here was actually pulling into our drive and then he got sideswiped by somebody trying to actually turn past him. It shouldn't have been going in our drive in the first place. And now we got a traffic jam, cops, and a busted up car everywhere. That's why we need those things accomplished before we leave. We actually came down here, not because the cops were here, but look at this over here, Christian. You see this right here? This is a giant widow maker here and it's ready to go on the road. We have the chainsaws in the back of the actual gator. So we were coming down to actually cut these trees down, but now we can't. We got cop cars all over the place. We got another damaged car all over the place. This is just life at Hale's headquarters. This is why George and I, we live at the very, very end of an extremely long driveway. All the chaos is up front, all the, um, the charm and the tranquility is in the back. We should probably go see if this guy's okay. Uh, they got a tow? They're gonna have to, it's electric. Uh, can't do nothing. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. You need me to put this stuff anywhere for you? Oh, or? my son's actually coming. Oh, you're so coming to pick yeah. it up? Yeah. So okay. I do appreciate that. Sorry okay. to interrupt your morning, or whatever time it is. Right? Yeah, well, whatever it is is what it is. You're fine, you're fine. All right, well, if you need anything, I'm at the end of a very, very, very long driveway, okay. so holler, right. All right, and I, uh, it. I can I can holler for you if you need me to. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. You're okay? You're safe? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. All right. It hurts a little bit, but that's all right. All right. I'm glad you're one. safe. Thanks. It's important when you're using your actual equipment, which we're going to be using chainsaws, that you use mixed gasoline. Oh, I think George just texted me. So you got to mix an oil. That's an oil, and you can see here, I label everything. So it's a 50 to 1 ratio. And then always use non-ethanol fuel. The reason is, is because the ethanol, that's corn syrup, gums up your engine. So if you want a jeremy rig like I jeremy rig, you know what, just don't rig anything. Just do it right. Mix your oil with non-eth. Always mark your gas cans. Guys, do you think I'm anal about organization? A little bit. Okay, yeah. just, just a tad, just a <laughs> tad. But we do things right, that's what's important. Got an Amish crew coming tomorrow. They're putting up the bird aviary. So Christian, patient, you see, you see all of these right now, all these branches? Man, everything's happening. The excavator's on the phone right now. See all these branches here right near? We're gonna have to cut all of these, get them all out of the way in time for the actual Amish crew coming out. Uh, we might as well, you know what? Let's just, we'll let them out. What do you guys say? I think so. I think, I think it'll be safe today if we're up here with chainsaws, but this isn't all we're cutting today. We got a whole lot more. Hey, babies. You just gonna run away? You just gonna run away? If it was mama, you'd be pecking. No? Yeah? Okay, let's see how many eggs are in there. Let's see. 
these chickens, these chickens, you know what? I love my chickens, but I have to admit, they're not the brightest chickens. I make all these beautiful bedding areas for them, and where do they lay? They go right there into the corner, and they lay. <laughs> oh my, we're gonna have to clean this chicken out, chicken coop out soon too. But the chickens are going to Florida, so maybe we'll do it when we get back from Florida. I got two phone calls while you guys were hauling all this wood, which by the way, incredible job. Take a look, look, we can actually, we see the coop again. It's amazing when you take all the branches, put them in a big old pile. Two phone calls, number one, my neighbor called and said that it looks like my address stone down at the drive got hit by the van down there. And I need to go check that out and get police information and all of that. So we're gonna swing down there. Number two, Guapo called me. Remember the whole garage scenario was on fire? Yep. He had a, a mental psychotic homeless guy actually steal from his porch a few months ago. And the neighbors are claiming it was that guy that potentially poured fuel on his garage and ignited it. The crackhead neighbors in the back are claiming it was it was that mental dude that started the fire and there was a boom and they went to try and tell Guapo that uh, your, your place is on fire but he didn't answer the door. So we may end up back out at Guapo's to see what's going on there but for the time being we got to go check out the address stone down at the drive. It looks okay. I mean that's a big rock right there for that to be moved. Uh, I did have this moved once already, so I think it's all right. And I, I got better news for us. All these cars driving by, uh, we're gonna make sure they don't hit these, these trees. Christian, you ready to push one over? I'm ready. Let's do it. Go Christian, go Christian, go! Go Christian, go, go! <laughs> and that's why we just got it. All right, we gotta get it over here and get it out of the road. Patience is look out, are we good, Patience? Patience says we're good. Go, Christian. Go, Christian. Go. Come on, Christian. Christian, come on. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Should we chainsaw it? What should we do? Christian, we need you to get this thing down, man. There's a car coming. Come on. Just take it. Take it. Take it. You got time. You got time. You got time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a car coming all the way. Is it ready to go? No, it doesn't feel like it. So we got chainsaw it? Yeah. All right. I'll get the chainsaw. You get the camera. Guapo's calling. Dude, what'd you find out? Dude, oh my gosh, bro. There's a huge plot twist going on right now. Man. What is it? What is it? What is it? Bro, so didn't, didn't George see a, a gas can on camera? I don't know. My video will be released today. I'll have to go back and look at it. I'm on chainsawing all day today, getting ready for the bird aviary. So if they, dude, I, dude, dude, George found a gas can. Okay behind the garage and that's not where I keep my gas can. So at. you know somebody poured gas on oh my goodness man so it was that dude. dude somebody sure, somebody that poured gas. Out of nowhere, dude brought that up. Somebody poured gas on your garage man. Dude are you calling the cops and having to come back out and investigate? Probably, right? Well, I'll, I'll go ask George where that gas can is. I'll call you back. We'll see if she oh, threw okay. it in. I'll call you right back. Okay, I'll go talk to George. Somebody needs to talk to you. Who's somebody? You're about to find out. Oh, boy. This is, this is getting crazy. This is getting... Dude. All right, she's with me right now. Ask her. Dude, George. Yes. Yeah. So that I'm tripping on that. So, I remember. And we, I'm pretty sure one of us caught that on film. Do you remember? It was in the video you released today. It was in. Oh, really? Yeah. So, do you know what you did with the gas can? Is it in the dumpster or? Yeah. Dude, it's in the dumpster. We got to dig it out of the dumpster and see if you can get prints. Was that? Well, I, I am right now. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. So, is it in the bottom of the dumpster, middle of the dumpster? I just remember asking, do you want to hold on to this or do you want to toss it? And you said toss it. So, it's probably towards the top. Dude, yeah, it's probably towards the top, but I, I didn't think, you know, because there's all kind of gas cans all over my yard, but I don't keep them behind my, my, back, my back fence, man. 
so. So that mental dude probably took the gas, poured it on the side of the garage, ignited it. That's where your back neighbor heard the boom. And that's why the back of the garage didn't get it. The side did. And then he tossed he tossed the gas in the back. And what do you think? He jumped the fence or what? I don't know. I got to talk to the... I got to talk to the one neighbor and see what she's seen. That there, I have two neighbors I have to talk to that's going to get some serious clarity. Because I talked to one of the neighbors and the one neighbor said that the, that the lady that informed me Dude, pretty much like said the lady that informed me pretty much said that she sees these things the whole night. So once she gets off of work, I'm gonna get her like clarity. See what she says. Exactly who she saw. We're gonna have to get a lineup, man. You gotta find that gas can in the dumpster, pull that out, do it with gloves. And so it's going to be hard for anybody to get a print on that because it's not a flat surface. Usually those are kind of a corrugated surface, but get it out and you got to get, you got to get the fire marshal out there or get the cops out there or something, man. Dude, that's mind blown. Dude, we had the, we had the cops here this morning at Hale's headquarters. Dude, this I, well, is crazy. You know, when I found the gas can, I didn't even put two and two together. I just thought that yeah, it was right. crazy. I don't keep they they burn on a regular basis. I would never keep a gas can back there filled with gas. Well, there's just so much going on that nobody was thinking anything of it. It was, let's clean it up, let's get it sealed. Let's clean it up, let's get it sealed. Nobody was thinking, because the fire marshal was already out there. Nobody was thinking, oh man, this is part of arson. Mm. And the way that fire developed is so awkward. It was so... It, it's weird that it was very unusual. Fire, but I concluded like there was like treated wood. You know that, that maybe the wood, since the wood's treated, that the, that the fence wouldn't necessarily catch on fire naturally. But dude, dude, I you... thought about it again, and I'm like, dude, why in the world would there be only one side of my garage burnt? Well, not only that, why isn't part of your fence burnt and their side of the fence burnt, and yeah, it's a and wooden this fence? Is what really this is the craziest thing. So Nana knows to put the boxes behind the fence because they burn all the time. They'll get rid of all these banana boxes we've been getting from the hoarder house. And what's so crazy about everything is that those boxes are not burned. None of those boxes are burned. Very unusual. It's, it's a cardboard box. Get off the phone with me and go find that, that gas can right now, man. Don't mess around. Go find it. All right. Beautiful birds. In a matter of just days, they're going to have freedom in their 100 foot by 30 foot wide bird aviary. Now, a lot of people have been asking, but well, Jeremy, who's going to take care of the birds when you're when you move back down to Florida? Well, it really wouldn't make much sense to tell you. I mean, you don't know the name of my CPA. You don't know the name of my insurance company. You don't know the, you know, there's a lot of people's names you don't know. So we'll just say Pete's taking care of them. So that way. Uh, when people keep asking and asking, who's taking care of your peacocks? We'll just repeat it. Repeat and repeat and repeat. You see Elvis right here? Yeah. He's the only, he's the only male who started one of his, one of his adulthood feathers. So when they get to about two years of age, roughly a year and a half, two years, two and a half years, they start their long, beautiful feathers. Elvis right here. He's the only one of the three males who's actually started one. You can see it right there on the end sprouting out. Oh, I can't wait till spring. So you did jump in the dumpster and you're saying you found nothing. So basically I hired Dumpster Dave to come okay. over, which is a professional dumpster guy. Yeah, yeah, you gotta and hire a professional found, for this. I found nothing. But the things that I am gonna put on this next episode that I am finding out about this fire are so crazy and such a plot twist that I think you need to come back out. And you you said you found like steps, like like spools and things to step over the fence to get over to your side? Dude, you will not believe what I've been finding, man. Yeah, I think it's, you and Dave not adding up, man. You something's and dumpster diver up. Dave gotta gotta un un undig that gas can that George found. Dude. Dumpster Dave has been in the dumpster for over three hours and cannot find the gas can.
George swears she put it in there and none of us thought anything of it at that moment. The chickens, the chickens don't even think anything of it. They're just like, they're like <laughs> 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 really weird that the, that the gas can didn't burn up. I find it extremely weird. The gas can didn't blow, doesn't have any it's melt so marks sense. on it. We went back and looked at the footage and it doesn't have any melt marks on it. It didn't blow. And they, the fire department literally saved you and your neighbors. 30 seconds later, it would have been explosion after explosion after explosion. Dude, and I found something else, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. It's just insane. Dude, I started talking to the neighbor next to the guy, next to the behind my house. And yeah. You won't believe what he said, man. It's nuts. Did he describe the guy that was stealing from your porch and that went to jail? It, I got it all on video. I Jeez. got it all on video. It's Jeez. nuts. This is just... You might have to come out. You might have to come back out, bro. I might have to come back out. I got a bird aviary going up the next couple days, though. I'm, I'm chainsawing like crazy. I mean, I got trees to the left of me, trees to the right of me. I'm stuck in the middle with peacocks and chickens. You're a peacock, man. They gotta just let you fly. You gotta let me fly. You gotta let me fly. Yeah. So, fly. I mean, I got a crew coming out the next two days. I got a crew coming out for for leaf removal, and man, I it, it'd have to be like Friday. What's going on Friday? You're coming over, man. We have to investigate this. This is, there's going to be some serious investigation. It, George is walking to me right now. George, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, you put that gas can in the dumpster. Yeah, it's definitely in the dumpster. She says she definitely put it in the dumpster. So dumpster Dave is probably not a professional. I'm guessing he's an amateur. If if um, if you're saying he's a professional dumpster diver. Dude, he was in there for three hours. Dumpster Dave, man, do you think that gas can's in there, man? If it's in there, he said it's in the bottom and the middle. Then he's a professional. We gotta dig it out. You gotta have it for this crime scene investigation. This is arson, man. This is yeah, arson. Dumpster Dave. Who's Dumpster Dave? Dumpster Dave is a professional dumpster diver that Guapo hired to find the gas can. I've never met him, but, um, you know, I, I've... He had a Facebook ad, man. He said he was a professional. <laughs> if he's got a Facebook ad, that's all that matters, man. That's all that matters. Yeah, I've never... I've never, they're making a giant nest they out of all those, <laughs> they're making a giant nest out of all those twigs it's and their, sticks. It's their playground. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll talk to George and see what we can do. Um, I got to show George, I got to show George everything I've been cutting. I'll give you a call back. All right, man. All right, cool. All right, what do you think? All this is gone now, George. We're good there. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, it's gonna be really bright. It is uh, really bright. I cut all the tree trims there that oh, would have gotten nice. the structure. You did an awesome job. Wow. Oh, do, does that mean I get a kiss? <laughs> You're a lumberjack. Do I get a kiss? Mm -hmm. Oh, camera. who kisses like that? <laughs> you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. I got Big Bertha here, <laughs> and out there, I got some big old trees that are marked. Which one should we go for first? What are you thinking? The big one. Go big. Or go home. That's the big one right there. Just so we're on the same page, right? Yeah. Yep. That one the right there. One. The big one. Mm -hmm. That probably will fall and touch us from right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go get it. This tree is wider than me, and let's be honest, that's kind of difficult to be, but but it is. Are you sure this is a good idea? No. <laughs> well, we always do the things that aren't good ideas. So, uh, well, listen to that. You hear that? It's kind of hollow. It might got hit by lightning. I don't know. Man, look at the. Whoo! We got our work cut out for us on this one. Am I talking loud? A little bit. Uh, I have earplugs in. So, uh, uh -huh. what I did is I created a wedge down here. So, you see this mark right here? That's, I got to wedge it so that it has room to fall. But then you see the one that would have been straight. You see this one? Yep. So I put a double wedge so it should fall like this, but then turn. It should turn slightly and miss the actual bird aviary area. But this is some big stuff in here. So we got to, I should probably have patience do this. She's better at it. We somehow got to get these chunks. You see how loose that is? We got to get those chunks out. Patience, you the boss. Oh, just like that. You wow, see that? You did that really good. So there's a wedge piece right there. 
Now what we have to do is take the other pieces out and then we're gonna do a back cut. I promise you when this thing falls, you're gonna feel the ground shake. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. Oh, my goodness. Timber! Yeah! Yeah! That was awesome. Let's find a bigger one next.